This is part one of my October 20th workout. I will be posting part two um, soon. I have to think how I want to post it because there's different ideas that I have based on the workout that I did. So here I'm starting uh, with some very basic warm-up. Nothing scripted, just some stretches. There are many variations that I do, but that day this is what I did. I like to start all of my workout with stretching. I don't know if I mentioned in some of my previous videos, but uh, I have uh, back problems. So whenever I start, I ease myself uh, with some stretches. I usually hear my lower back crack when I do uh, that twisting uh, stretching. So here, as you can see, um, I start my feet a little bit further away and slowly I bring it closer to my body and I squeeze my whole upper body and, you know, together and my lower back, you know, sometimes it does crack a little bit. And here I'm stretching again. Yeah, this one, when I twist my body like that, I every time I do it, I always hear my lower back cracked. It's very good to do. So here I uh, stretching again. Some very basic, nothing major. Now I'm doing some. Uh, crunches. Even though you see me do that small movement, my core is very tight. By the time I get to 10 or 12 repetitions, my abdominal is burning. I usually try to tighten my abdominal, my core as tight as I could. And by doing that, I don't really need to do 500 crunches or whatever to get the result. A set of, you know, 20 reps, three sets should be good enough. Just remember, I uh, only showing one set of everything that I did that day. But um, once I paused the uh, camera, I did uh, two additional sets, which equals to three. Sometimes when I do those crunches, I like to uh, touch my abdominals to make sure that they are tight. So here I'm doing just side crunches for this way. This kind of movement is for the uh, lower part of my oblique. Some very basic leg lifts. Again, core has to be tight. That was the first thing that I did, so I don't, I didn't really go crazy with uh, the abdominals. So there are time I special days just to do abs, so I usually go a little bit hardcore with that. This I just incorporated with the with the warm up, so. I didn't really go crazy with it. My heart rate, uh, my heart uh, rate, the uh, watch was going off. And sometimes when I lay on my back like that, for some reason, it doesn't really have contact with my, uh, with my chest. Yeah, I was just showing. You see, it normally it usually gets a little bit higher, but 
My heart rate was actually at 165, and I only burned like nine, but it was still going up nine calories. So now what I did, I went to the woman chair to do some leg lifts. So here, this is where I'm trying to do a bit more. See, I ease myself into the workout. So normally, now what I try to do is that I try to do at least two or three sets of abdominal work before I start my actual workout. Before, when I do my workout, I used to ignore my abs completely. And there, there are times I leave the abs workout until the end. By the time I finish my workout, I get too tired to actually do them. And I either do it very poorly, or at time I skipped it completely because I was too tired <laughs> to actually do the abs. So now I've, what I do is that I find it better to do any kind of ab routine prior to my uh, workout. So my abdominal have improved tremendously. It's not really, you know, perfect like so many. Well, nobody's perfect, but at least it's not big. Let me just say that. It's not humongous, but it's much better than before when I used to skip uh, ab workouts. So now what I did is that I am um, doing some cable side crunches. Again, the core has to be tight. If it's not tight, this is useless. See, I'm holding one hand on my abdominal, making sure it's uh, as tight as possible. I actually was doing two things one after the other. I was using the side crunches on. Uh, I was doing side crunches on the woman chair, and uh, and once I was done with it, I moved to the cable to do the uh, side crunches some more. So here's the woman chair. It is right behind it. That's how close it is. So it's easy for me to just go back and forth. Again, I have a video showing how I do this. My core is as tight as possible, to tell you the truth. It doesn't seem like I'm doing much, but it is tight. I'm doing some twisting motion. I'll try to put the link or something of that video, how I do this um, this movement. You see, I'm pressing it to show you. It's really tight. And as soon as I finish with this, I move to the next machine right behind it to do the cable crunches. And here, I think I did uh, 20 reps on each side. And I went to the cable and do a couple reps. I don't remember how many that I did. But usually when I do the woman chair side crunches, I do 20 on each side. Either 20 or 12, I don't remember. There's the twisting. The only thing <laughs> when I do workout I never really focus on directly is my glutes. I leave it when I do either squats or whatever. I never really do anything beyond to focus on my glutes. So whatever I get from all the other exercise and it work my butt, it's fine. So you see, I, I did a couple, my heart rate was really up and I burned just 46 calories just doing a couple of, of these other things. So now I'm working my lower back on the, uh, that's a different woman chair. So there's different ways that I do this. Um, this time, on this particular set, I did uh, 12 rep, you know, going as I'm showing right now. And uh, there were time I do a little bit thing for the lower side of my back. And this, um, you always have to trip your leg on this machine. Actually, both of those uh, 
woman chair. Because if you bend your knees, you're pretty much uh, releasing the resistance from doing it. So that was the warm up, and I will be posting the uh, part two of my actual workout. And I hope this uh, video helps, and uh, I hope it gives you some ideas. Thanks for watching.